फ्रेंड्स वन सेकेंड वेलकम बैक टू दिलरशिप टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस एस एस एम टाइड विच इज कम्पल्सरी क्वेश्चन फॉर ट्वेंटी मार्क्स एंड विच इज वेरी सिंपल एंड वेरी शॉर्ट सो इफ यू फॉलो माई प्रोसीजर यू विल इजिली अचीव ट्वेंटी मार्क्स आउट ऑफ ट्वेंटी एंड इन वेरी शॉर्ट पीरियड ऑफ टाइम ओके सो बिफोर सॉलिंग न्यूमरिकल्स आई विल शो यू हाउ यू विल अप्रोच द क्वेश्चन ओके सो फर्स्ट यू हैव टू मेक डायग्राम वॉट एवर इन एस एच एम गिवन यू हैव टू मेक द डायग्राम in the tables so that you can fill the values and you will don't miss any steps so first in my first table i have to write port whatever port is given in the examination then att as we we have three att as point of examination view so whatever type whatever ask in the question which volume you have to write then date what date is asking and what time for that tide is asked so you have to write these three things so first your table is completed second is zero seasonal correction and main level zero so this value you will get addition of these two value now we will see from where we get this value and this value so we go to the tide table okay for example we have the ostend this this is 1564 and if you see this table here it is mean level z o m so you have to come down and you see 2.69 okay now the seasonal correction from where you will get on the next page go to the same 1564 so 1564 coming between here and whatever month is the given you have to take the value from there this is month okay and according to that you have to take the value okay so now you know this table this two value you know from where we get and now you have to add this two value and you will get mlj now come to the next table you have to write first thing m m2 s2 k1 o1 okay now write here a1 g a1 plus g p divide by 24 p divide by 24 into t theta is equal to a1 Plus g minus p divided by twenty four into t h f t h f t sine theta h f t cos theta. Okay, <coughs> now we will see a one value from where we get a one value. So go to the tight table. Whatever volume you is given, use the table seven. Okay. Now <coughs> here you see it is given A, it is given F, and this for M two S two K one O one. So whatever date is asking in the question, like ninth. So go to nine zero eight nine is A one value zero one five three four seven one one six M two S two K one O one value you will get from here. Okay. now you will get this value now g value where you will get so you will get this from the table okay now the g g value so if you go to see here it is written g g g g m2 s2 k1 o1 okay so according to that you will get this value okay so from here you will get this values now come to the table and you have to add this two value add this two value so you will get a1 plus g now p divided by 24 the value is fixed you have to write this value 29 30 15 35 40 
30.9 whatever as in whatever is any question in shm you have to write this value is constant you have to say it is constant you have to write you have to memorize this now whatever time is given like for example 0800 our local time so whatever you have learned 29 into 8 30 into 8 15 into 8 13.9 into 8 so you will get some value okay now theta is equal to a1 plus g minus p divided by 24 to and from this value to this value you have to subtract and write exactly what value you will get if you get more than 360 don't no need to change anything you have to write the same value if you get the minus no need to change anything write minus now h value now from where you will get h value again come to the table C H H H H okay so from H value you have to take this one value for M2 S2 for M2 S2 M2 M2 S2 K1 O1 so you will get the value from H value ft value again you have to go table 7 ok so according to the date you have to see f and according to that you have to check whatever date is given you have to get, get f value ok so this much is clear now you will have h value you have f value now hft sin theta so this value multiply by this value into sin theta is this one whatever value you have to this okay so h into ft into sine into theta value so you in this diagram you have to calculate for m2 and for s2 only no need to calculate these two values for for hft you have to calculate the all values four values okay now after that you have to write hft cos theta you have to add all these four values and write ok this one is clear now calculation parts so first we calculate r sin r is equal to m2 and s2 of r sin r value so r sin r value where, where do you get from there add these two values and you will get r sin r m2 s2 r cos r m2 and s2 of hft sin theta value and yeah. hft cos theta value okay now you will calculate 10 r is equal to r sin r divided by r cos r so whatever you have value for r sin r r cos r you will get then 10 inverse so you will get the value of r now whatever value you will get you have to convert so 0 90 180 270 so how you remember this one all sine 10 cos in all you have both r sine r r sine r and r cos r value positive in here r sine r positive r cos r negative here both are negative r sine r negative r cos r negative here r sin r negative r cos r positive okay so according to that you have to convert and you will get other value of r okay now you have to calculate r square which is r sin r chi square plus r 
cos r ka square so whatever r square value yes under root you will get the r value now you have to take value f4 f4 f6 and f6 value now from where you will get these all values again go to the type table you see here it is f4 f4 f6 f6 f4 is small f4 capital f6 is small f4 capital f6 capital okay so from there you will get the same port so you will get this all values okay now we have to calculate d6 okay d4 first we calculate d4 so 2r plus small f4 so whatever you have value 2 whatever value from r r plus f4 value so you will get d4 value okay now we calculate caps d4 value so r square into capital f4 so r square you will get from here f4 you get from here okay so now h4 is equal to formula is d4 cos d4 apply the formula and you get the h4 value now same d6 so 3 r plus small f6 so you will get the d6 value now d6 capital is r cube into caps f into 6 so you will get d6 value now h6 is equal to d6 cos d6 so you will get the h6 value so now tide is sum of z o mean plus hft cos theta plus plus h4 plus h6 so this add all three values and you will get tide by shm now z o value you will get from here hft cos theta you will get from here okay and h4 from here h6 is from here hope you understand how to solve how to make a tables now we'll solve the question is it's very important repeated many times in the past previous time so we'll solve this and you see how much time we take to solve this so question is how much clearance below a cable at zero ostend this port name is ostend at 1200 hours so this is local time and this is date would a vessel when the observed height of cable is 23 meter and draft of the vessel is 8.5 meter the highest point of the vessel above the keel is 28.5 so first i will explain you then i will solve so this is our vessel 28.5 meter from the keel to highest point consider this is highest point 28.5 and our draft is this is water line so this is our draft 8.5 so 28.5 minus 8.5 is equal to 20 meters okay so this part clear huh? now we'll solve okay so first i will draw the first table port austin att volume 1 number is 1564 date is 4th feb 1992 time is 1200 hours local time okay this side this one table is completed now i will go to other table this call me search zero value 2.69 
seasonal correction is 0, 0.0 so mean level is equal to 2.69 add second table is completed now I will go to make third table M2 S2 K1 O1 A1 Zero zero seven zero one five three three zero zero six one G value zero three four zero eight eight zero zero five one seven eight. Now I will add this two value a one plus g. So I will get zero four one one zero three 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 five two three nine. So now P divide by 24, so value is the fixed 29, 30, 15, 13.9. Now P divide by 24 into T, so our T is 1200 hours, so 29 into 12, so 348, 360, 180, 166.8. Now H theta is equal to A1 plus G minus P divided by 24 into T. Okay, so I have to subtract from this to this. So now I will subtract from this value. Okay, so theta is equal to A1 plus G minus P divided by 24. So A1 plus G value is this and P divided by 24 value is this. So I have to minus from this to here, this two value. So I will get minus 307 minus 257 155 72.2 now i will get h value 1.80 0 0.53 0 0.06 0 0.08 ft value 0 0.86 1.165 1 1.00 0 0.87 so hft sin theta 1.236 0 0.602 HFT cos theta 0 0.932 minus 0 0.139 minus 0 0.022 0 0.02 so sum of HFT cos theta is 0 0.791 meters now I will put this value in the formula R sin R is equal to 1.236 plus 0 0.602 is equal to 1.838. R cos R is equal to 0 0.932 plus minus 0 0.139 is equal to 0 0.793. Now 10 R is equal to R sin R divided by r cos r 1.838 divided by 0 0.793 so 10 r is equal to 2.318 so 10 inverse r is equal to 66.6 so make diagram 0 90 180 270 all sine 10 cos so our value both r sin r r cos value is positive so no need to change here so okay now r square is equal to r sin r k square plus r cos r k square so it's equal to 1.838 k square plus 0 0.793 k square so we get the 4.007 so under root R is equal to 2.002. Okay. Now we we'll get the F4 value. F4 value small f6, f6. From the table I already told you how to get this value. Okay. Now we'll calculate D4. 2R plus F small f4. So 2 into 66.66 .66 plus 327 
is equal to 460.32 d4 value now d4 value is r square into f4 so 2.002 ka square into 0.036 so i will get 0.144 now h4 value is d4 cos d4 0.144 cos d4 so 0.144 cos 460.32 so h4 value is minus 0.0258 now d6 values 3r plus small f6 so 3 into 66.66 plus 279 is equal to 478.98 d6 is equal to r cube into f6 so 2.002 ka cube into f6 0.013 so we got 0.052 now h6 is equal to d6 cos d6 so 0.052 into cos 478.98 so you will get minus 0.025 now protect height of tide is equal to mean level of zo plus hft cos theta plus h4 plus h6 so you will get 2.69 plus 0.791 plus minus 0.0258 plus minus 0.025 so height of tide is 3.431 meters this value may be plus minus 0.5 because accuracy how much you interpolate how much accuracy okay so charted depth of or height from the cable plus mean high water spring minus height of tide so is 23 plus 5.0 minus 3.431 okay so now 23 so you will get 5.369 and then 25 then minus you have to 20 which we calculated in earlier so you will get around 5.369 okay hope you understand this numericals and uh, your concept is clear for SHM and wish you all the best for the examination which is on 12th so hope you do well thanks see you on the next video